it's time for some more puzzly goodness and new puzzly goodness. It is. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich and Bun for Five. That's right. We are back here in the Atari VCS store on launch day of Tilting Tiles by Treefall, Treefall Studios LLC. Tilting Tiles is a unique movement-based puzzle game. Guide the tile through each level's environment while collecting every item within the move limit. Your goal is to find the most efficient route possible. Examine each level carefully to solve your way across the terrain. It's rated E for everyone. It is compatible with this fine modern controller right here. It was $4.99 at launch is what I paid when I bought it. And it is time to dive in and play some Tilting Tiles. Love puzzle games. Love this kind of like uh, movement-based thing. This is a little more unique. Um, I am, I'm not exactly sure how you travel. Like I saw some of the trailers. You could like travel up and down levels and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure how to do that. But we will find out as we hit this button and check out some tilting tiles, so let's go. All right, it's loading, loading some stuff. What do we got? Look at that. Tilting tiles. Press A. All right. Ooh, how to play. Let's do it. Tilting tiles is a minimalist puzzle game. The goal of the game is to collect all items before reaching the move limit. Each level contains a different move limit and different number of allowed special moves. A is single move. A, A is double move. A is X is diagonal move. I guess that's, that's it. Is there a... That's it. That's the thing. So A is single move, A, A is double move, and X is diagonal move. Mm. Player speed normal. There's normal, fast, and normal. Okay, so we'll move normal. Um, got credits, stage select. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, so we got to do this in eight moves. Can two, three, four, five. Got it. All right, simple enough. Oh, 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 oh! I get it. So you can like, oops. So you can hit A to choose double move as the as the default so I can just go back can I go back to double move oh no maybe I can't oh, I'm over I'm over limit so two three Four, eight, double move, nine. Ah, oh, so you got to, yeah, you really got to plan it out. You got to plan your double moves so you can use the double move in the right way. Okay, so 22 moves, two, three. We want to use double move here, right? We get three of them. Um, so we want to use it here because that's a thing. Um, single move here. Can I go this way, this way? All right. Um, we can use one of the double moves there, but that's, I don't know. I don't know if you want to use a double move. Um, we can use one here, right? To go this way. Whoops. Haha. <laughs> then you might burn all the moves. Maybe it's just single moves. Right? And then double move this way, double move this way, single move this way, um, double move back this way, and now I can only do single moves, but do I have enough? Nope, I don't. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, 
Oh, maybe it's maybe do I have to burn double moves? So I have to do like a, a little line here. Double move that way. Uh double move. I guess it doesn't really matter which one. You're still using moves, right? And then I just go this way, right? Do blade move down, and now I can only do this. Got it. One under. I'll take it. Try one more. 32 with some double moves. So it's like, it's all about, um, you know, like, Again, it's finding efficiencies in the motion, right? Um, so, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this is just, it's just a, it seems like a, this is a waste, right? Oh, I got there. Nice. Very cool. All right, so how do you do this? One, two, three, four. So there's there are that's how you go to the levels. There's like a there's like a thingy. Alright, I see that. I see I see what you're saying, game. Alright, so I go this way. And then loop, 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 loop. Uh, I don't know, I think I did I did too many moves. I did too many moves. This is supposed to be the last one. Or just go, ah, start over. So I'm not sure. I guess maybe that's the, maybe we do this, right? Duble move, right? Yeah. That's how you do it, man. That's how you do it. This is pretty cool. Then there's X. There's the X move. Let's try that. What? I just started over. So how do I how do I select the X move? Maybe I can't use it yet. Maybe that's why it's grayed out. Yeah, let's say that's that. But, oh. Oh, it's not. It's, oh. It's a bug. I found a buggy, guys. Y does the button. Y, not X, Y. X does the start over thingy. Like it said, Y did. That's why I was confused. Why, guys? Why? Why is the button? Do the why. So, all right, let's see what this move does. All right, can I just do it? Oh, whoops. So, how do you, how do you do it? How do you do the move? Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's funny. So, if we do this, and then we go to Y, and then we go up, right? Oh, I can't go up. I can't go up now. So why would you do that there? He wouldn't, because that's not the answer. So instead of doing that that motion, so maybe it's like one of those, like, you Y across here, and then you Y across there, and then you Y across here. And then that's, that's how you do those moves. Right? Bam. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. All right, awesome. It's good stuff. I like the music. I like the, the cool thingies. Uh, let's go to the wrap-up and talk a little bit more about this one. There you have it, folks. That's Tilting Tiles on the Atari VCS, available today, right now. Go on there. Like I said, $4.99, not bad for a puzzle game. 
and it does look like there may be many, many levels. I'm not exactly sure how many. Um, I will try to investigate that and get that to you in an update or something like that. Maybe put it in the comments or something. But what is it? Is it certified good times? Is it yes, the fun was found? Is it a yeah, but? You know, something that was like just about there, but maybe you missed a little. Or is it, is it a not great? Um, we, of course, here on many occasions, find the fun. That's right. Yes, the find, the found, the found, the found was find. <laughs> I'm going to eat lunch, guys. Uh, the fun was indeed found in this one. Um, I had a great time. I automatically think it's worthy of the five bucks. And again, but I'm the puzzle guy. I love puzzles. I love puzzle games. I love doing all that kind of stuff. So it was an instant purchase for me, no matter what it was. Um, I was kind of probably going to find the fun, no matter what. Um, this may not be for everyone, but I will say if you are indeed looking for a unique puzzle experience, something that kind of scratches that like IQ itch, if you guys know what that means uh, from the PlayStation days, um, it, it, it kind of gets you in that, that different mindset for, for doing puzzles. It's cool. It's very cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and, um, you know, there, there are some other games that are that are kind of like that actually on the Atari VCS. Uh, Petra actually comes to mind um, as, a, as a game that is kind of like this um, in a different way, in a different way. Um, Path to the Princess, actually, like the like the aesthetic of just single screen kind of like figure out your way, whatever. Another great one uh, to check for Met Game Games, our friends over at Met Game Games. Um, you know, so if you're looking for more puzzle action and you're like, oh, hey, this, this guy's talking about puzzle games on the Atari VCS, is there more? Yes, there are tons more. There's Puzzle Dwarf, which is a different type of game in a, in a, in a different way. But yes, it's also a very cool game that you should check out too. Uh, if you're liking the puzzlers, I just did that one two days ago. So, um, check them all out. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think about uh, tilting tiles here, about any other puzzle games or any of the other things you, you like to see on the Atari VCS. Um, love having the conversation and checking that out with you guys. Very, very cool stuff. There's more today for regular viewers here on Bacon Ice Cream Productions um, around the 4 o'clock hour, because I think this one's going to come out a little early if I can get it that way, um, to the 2 p.m. hour. Um, this video will be, be there at EST. But the 4 p.m. hour EST... Retro Riches Restorations returns again to the channel for all viewers, which is amazing. Um, and, of course, there will be some more stuff coming for those Good Times Clubs members uh, very soon as well um, as we go do, go through the mission of trying to go into that bin and see what we can bring back to life. So hopefully you guys are digging those series and those, those uh, kind of shows too, and uh, we'll catch you on the comments of them as well. But we have ended a video here on bacon ice cream productions we have to do one thing one thing only and that is thank every single member of the good times club so let's do that right now so thank you to the ever canadian to crimson cross to curage games to chris westerman to phantom fiction to skeletrex to lloyd r jim to papa pete to the intellivision gamer to ken liqueur and to mr shua all members of the good times club and legacy member karsten all members of the good times club thank you guys so much for your support and the awesomeness and I look forward to meeting you guys again in the Good Times Club meeting coming up um, by the end of the month. And hopefully it will have some cool, cool news for you. Um, I know things have been crazy and whatever, and many promises were made and some were some with some still yet have yet to be kept. But I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, guys. Um, and we will see. We'll see what we can do for you on that. But until then, we will catch you next time for some good times. I am rich and we will see you. Take it easy, guys. And play some puzzles on Atari. Because why not?
rtsc.bakingicecream.com.